Hey, it's Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China. Welcome to another edition of Q&A with a Coach. Today we have a question from EF77, who says, Great videos, Ramsey. I enjoy watching and learning from them. From a philosophical standpoint, I'm not a fighter. That's okay. Everybody, everybody's welcome to watch this channel. I don't care if you're a fighter, if you train in combat sports, if you're a guy who lives a sedentary lifestyle and sits on the couch eating potato chips or whatever it is you do. Watch this channel. Learn from it. I watch a lot of channels that have absolutely nothing to do with anything that I do in life. And I find them absolutely fascinating and I learn from them. Why? Because there's not time enough to do everything there is to do in the world. But there is some time to watch and observe and learn from those fields of expertise and study and dedication that we have not dedicated ourselves to. And we can learn a great deal and we should learn a great deal from that. So thank you for watching, in spite of the fact that you're not a fighter, that's okay. So EF77 goes on to say, I have a question about fighting. I see many YouTube videos, and movies for that matter, of martial artists disarming people with firearms. Okay, I made a few videos about this topic. How accurate? How accurate is this in real life? I'm asking from a perspective of someone with the skill set, from years of training, from index, combat, handgun training, to long-range precision shooting. Can a firearm level the playing field in close quarters uh, combat? Or does the professional fighter still have the advantage? Oh man, absolutely. How hard is that to do, squeeze in a trigger? Not very. How hard is it to, oh, I don't know, control, submit, take down, strangle, knock out somebody who is violently resisting you, even somebody who doesn't know how to fight? That's, that's difficult. That takes a whole lot more effort than this. Now, I've mentioned this many times. I'll mention it again. I have been held up at gunpoint by muggers no less than six times in my life. That's six in Chinese sign language, by the way. Looks like the hang loose symbol. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Anyway. Where did this happen? The slums of Buenos Aires, Argentina, man. Back in the 90s, I was a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in the slums of Argentina. And I've had a few folks from Argentina send me these messages saying, Hey, Ramsey, you talk about the slums of Argentina all the time. Can you talk about some, some of the nice places in Argentina like Bariloche? Okay, I've never been there. I spent two years in the Vichas de Miseria and nothing else, man. I wasn't there as a a tourist. I wasn't there for sightseeing. I was there to preach the word of God to people in the slums. So, enough about that. But I got held up at gunpoint six times and no time, at no point, did they get this close. Nobody ever held a gun to my head. It's a ranged weapon. I'm sure none of these thugs on the streets holding me up at gunpoint had ever taken a firearm safety class or or a firearm uh, lesson of any type i'm sure none of them had ever seen a shooting range but they understand this is a ranged weapon i don't have to stand close to him to shoot him and they didn't they were all several meters about 10 feet away from me And even an untrained person at that distance can still kill you with a reasonable rate of accuracy. And you don't want to take that gamble. And there are all these videos about how to disarm somebody with a gun who is holding it right up to you. Up to your head, up to your chest, up to your back. And, you know, there are cases where, where people have done those things before in real life. And there are cases where people have attempted that stuff in real life and got themselves killed or seriously injured. It's not a guarantee. But man, if six times out of six, 
the assailants held guns at a distance, outside of my reach, I would say that's a pretty good indicator that if you end up in a situation where somebody pulls a gun on you, they are not going to be standing close enough for you to use any hand-to-hand -hand combat technique. Now, if you are in the time it takes for you to do your Kung Fu disarm, how much time does it take to do that? Yeah, that is a lot quicker than whatever arm flailing movement, body contortion thing you can dream up. So how viable is that stuff? I would say probably not very. I guarantee there's three people in the comments right now typing furiously, Oh yeah, well, I did that once. Good job. If that's you, cool, man, cool. Put on a seminar about it or something. Make a video and talk about that. That's quite the experience. I would say that's the rare exception, not the norm. You must be an exceptional person. But yeah, how useful is that stuff? Probably not very. If you are being mugged repeatedly, like six times in a row, over the course of two years, and you're not okay with that, maybe get out of the slums. Reevaluate your life. And if that's happening, oh, I don't know, see, somewhere in suburban America, you got other problems besides uh, <laughs> martial arts techniques to disarm firearms, man. You got other problems, man. You probably got a hit out on you from a gang, man. Contact the local authorities. Get some help. So how much stock do I put into uh, weapon disarms? Not a whole lot. It's, it's not something I'm particularly interested in. Combat sports is what I do. I'm a combat sports coach. The sport of mixed martial arts is my specialty. That's what, that's what gets me excited. Nobody brings guns into the cage and it's awesome. Thanks for watching. Get out there and train.